To my left, 2024 Ram 1500 in the Laramie trim, crew cab 4x4, and we're comparing this to the 2024 Ram 1500 in the Longhorn crew cab 4x4. We're talking about exteriors, interiors, and specs in this comparison video. Yes, we'll be talking about the Laramie interior. We'll be talking about the Longhorn limited interior. Phenomenal looks on both, and we're gonna bring to you guys the differences and some similarities that meet the eye. But before we do, because it's not a sponsor video, we truly need you guys to put bread on our tables. Guess what? Yes, you're right. Tap that like button and subscribe to our channel. If you have something for us to film, here's our email below. Email us if we could talk details later. A special shout out and a thanks to Folsom Lake Ram Chrysler Jeep for providing us these beautiful trucks for this walk around comparison video, guys. And keep watching, stay tuned, because we're also dropping those MSRP stickers so you guys get an exact idea of what the Longhorn comes with and what the Laramie comes with and the price tag on each. Now let's go ahead and compare 2024 1500 Laramie to the 2024 1500 Longhorn. So let's start this comparison video with talking some specs. Now we only popped one hood, why? Because they have pretty much the same exact powertrains. 5.7 liter V8 Hemi engine paired together with the eight speed automatic transmission. Yes, it's the E-Torque, a little bit more spunk and power on the towing and also it pushes out 395 horsepower with 410 pounds feet of torque a little bit about that these trucks in specs more starting with mpg mpg is 18 city 22 highway and 19 combined with the 5.3 gallon consumption per 100 miles 26 gallon gas tank size in both now dimensions length within height in inches starting with length 233 to 242 inches depending on the size bed you have 82 to 88 inches depending if you're talking about side mirrors or no side mirrors and then 77 inch height with a 392 rear axle ratio on both with a 7,100 pound towing capacity on both now when properly equipped you get up to about 8,300 pounds of towing capacity on both now in this kind of maroon red color this is the limited longhorn as mentioned at the beginning of the video this is a higher trim than the laramie one now this is not your usual laramie one because it has a sport design package added to this exact truck and i'm going to be mentioning that to you guys in the comparisons right now so starting with the lower trim in the laramie one what do we see that's different now the sport design hood is going to have a sportier look to it with the vents there on the right and left and the vents up top with the 1500 hemi e-torque emblem towards the top center of that hood to where here this is just a regular 1500 hemi e-torque hood and this is what they look like a little bit less uh sportier looking another thing that's completely different are the headlights here all this design and the grill is going to going to be completely different no 360 camera panoramic camera going on the 1500 Laramie level one, but you still get the bumper sensors, the fog lights, but no recovery tow hooks, okay? Now, we're gonna shoot over to the Limited Longhorn and get a load of the luxurious look on the Limited Longhorn with the different headlights. They both come LED, but this is a bi-LED look with the bulbs, completely different look, okay? With the grill itself in the full chrome, yes, it's a different design. Now, 360 panoramic camera, you're gonna have that camera right under that A, okay? And then dropping down to the bumper sensors, the chrome bumper with the chrome recovery hooks, and yes, you still get the LED fog lights, okay? Now, that is completely what's different. This is the main difference where you're gonna be seeing are these headlights, just a phenomenal look on the Limited Longhorn. Yes, it's going to be a little bit extra money for the Limited Longhorn. Now, dropping down to the sides, we have no wheel well trim or no fender uh, flare to where the Limited Longhorn has the fender flare. Okay, standard suspensions on both, dropping down to the wheels. On the Laramie one, you got the Bridgestone Duelers HL lenses, and those come in at 275, 55, 20, with a kind of glossy gray on the interior and a chrome on the uh, surface of that rim. And then a 275, 55, 20, and these are the Nexon Rodians HTXs, and they have that kind of chrome gunmetal gray interior side look on that rim. Side mirrors, pretty much the differences of side mirrors are the fact that the Limited Longhorn has that 360 panoramic camera, okay? And then just the color schemes with the chrome and the matte black plastic. 
to where the color schemes has the same color as the car, matte black plastic, but no 360 camera, of course, because the Laramie one does not get that. Ram, both in the Chrome. Another difference that you're going to be seeing in the limited Longhorn is the automatic uh, running board that you get with the Ram emblem there on the side that you do not have any running boards on the Laramie one. Now moving forward, yes, you get some differences in the trims around the windows like chrome to matte black. Shooting over to the rear ends, both come in the crew cab. But what did I want to show you guys is as mentioned on dimensions, this is a 5'7 bed to a 6'4 bed. This is a longer bed on the Laramie One, okay? Now you have the option of getting a longer bed if you'd like. Maybe you could tell the difference in the video. Hopefully you guys can, but again, that is the difference with regards to the bed. Now, the rears don't pretty much have much going on in the rears other than the limited Longhorn Edition emblem, right? You still get the rear camera, the electric tailgate with the big Ram emblem, 4x4 on the right. Bumpers look completely the same with the chrome bumper, but one is just a painted bumper, the Laramie one, uh, the same paint according to the car. Now, both come with the... Um, full-size spare under the bed with the tow hitch packages but i'm going to open up these soft open tailgates this is the 6-4 bed with no spray on bed liner no led lighting on the right and the left then up top that brake light there you see that right there that is completely different with no integrated rear view mirror live feed all right but the back window is electric controlled on both Come over to this one. Spray on bed liner, very nice look, protects your uh, bed. LED lighting on the right and the left with that button to turn it on and off. And then up top, that brake light does have more of a luxurious look in the piano black gloss, LED brake lights with the integrated camera and the automatic or electric controlled rear window. Now that we're pretty much done talking about differences and compare and similarities in the comparisons from the specs to the exteriors and beds now let's go ahead and show you guys my favorite part the interiors all right everybody so now in the laramie interior okay and this does have the sport design package remember what i meant mentioned on the outside of the truck so that comes with like the blacked out interior little trims here and there on this but overall this is what it looks like now right off the bat what are the differences from laramie one over to limited longhorn and there are going to be quite a uh, um, few differences okay now the ones that meet the eye is what we're going to be showing you guys starting with the door panel okay now door panel design is the same but what i want to mention is the dressing of the door panel that you get that is completely different from like the black and gray emblem uh inlays or trims to the uh, brown and the gold trim work on the Limited Longhorn. And then you have one extra speaker here because the Limited Longhorn comes with a 19 Harman Kardon speaker sound system to where this uh, minuses the Harman Kardon 19 and throws in an Alpine sound system, okay? Now, closing that door panel up, uh, the next thing that we see completely different is that driver cockpit cluster display. Seven inch, inf uh, digital cluster screen in the middle for your info card and whatnot and then the right and left comes with your manual tachometers for your rpm gauge and your uh, speedometer gauge but the the limited longhorn does come with a full digital screen okay now another thing is that ram up there emblem that states ram but limited longhorn you'll see the longhorn emblem in the digital okay heads up display up top that is going to be different laramie one doesn't come with a heads up display also the trim work on the steering wheel does come different from laramie to the limited longhorn and of course yes you get the stitching and the color schemes in the full cabin itself here up top you're going to be seeing alpine compared to Harmon cardum the inlays here are going to be slightly different colors and designs you both get yes the 12 inch infotainment screen but you're going to have two different buttons up here and you're going to have your park on and off button and then link your lane departure assist button okay the laramie uh one comes with less tech than the limited longhorn all right now dropping down further uh, this is going to be completely different. You have covers here with that natural wooden inlay looks and the limited longhorn. And see this little change shelf holder or whatever? This is going to be placed on this side of the cubby instead on the front side of the cubby, okay? This does come slide, so you can slide that shelf back. 
and it's going to open up to some space that's non-interrupted under that shelf. But another difference is that the limited Longhorn does come with a wireless charging pad to where the Laramie One does not have the uh, wireless charge pad, okay? Both do get the 115 volt inverter. All right, and the USB-C, USB-A plugins and aux come in both. Now, the armrest is completely different with a limited Longhorn. This is just the Laramie kind of more simple look. You get the dual level, um, center console, USB-A plugins in both, and then we top, pop that up, slide that forward, and yes, both are similar back here as well, okay? Dropping that down, up top, this is just a regular manual rear view mirror to where the limited longhorn has the live feed with regards to that camera up top. And then moving forward to the dashboard itself, I mentioned the color schemes are different, but you're gonna get the wooden inlays. Here is Laramie, and then in the limited longhorn, it's going to be uh, stamped or kind of engraved into the wood. Now, the mats themselves do come completely different as well, all right? So you're gonna have the Laramie mats and then the long limited longhorn mats and door sill plates as well, okay? So that's completely different too. I'm gonna turn on the car real quick and show you guys just some quick look. It does state Laramie when you turn on that cluster, get the RAM, accept. And I'm just gonna show you guys, go to apps. So you have one camera system here to where the limited Longhorn has the 360 panoramic camera, okay? Big difference because you're uh, always gonna be using that 360 panoramic camera. Yes, you're paying just a little bit more on the price tag, all right? And another thing is the seating. But this is kind of like a vinyl wrap with the suede. They do come electric control. They are both heated and ventilated. But up top, this is Laramie embroidered and the Longhorn is going to have a patch there for the limited Longhorn. But overall, the seating itself, the wrap, the leather wrap in the limited Longhorn, it's just a phenomenal look compared to the Laramie One. Now, I'm not downing the Laramie One. If you got the pockets and you like that brown kind of cowboy saddle Southwest look, get the limited longhorn that is my personal opinion let me go ahead and show you guys the second row seating differences and then we'll shoot over into the longhorn all right everybody the main differences that meet the eye starting with the bench of course the design or the wrap is going to be looking completely different but this armrest this is a more simplified armrest with the cup holder to where in the limited longhorn you have a more grand armrest with some space uh for like a center council type idea okay now if i pop these seats up this does not come with the separators for that those cubby space or that tool space, but you're supposed to have them. I don't know why they're missing in the Laramie, but both do come with that as well, okay? Another difference are the mats. You're gonna have the limited Laramie Longhorn mats in the back that completely look different from just the rubber kind of weather tech mat. In front of that bench, you're gonna have the saddlebacks on the Laramie, uh, on the, sorry, on the Longhorn Limited to where the Laramie, just kind of a simple pocket uh, look on the back of those front seats. Coming over to the center council, another difference is that you're gonna have ventilated sh ventilation seats in the back as well as the front on the Limited Longhorn, but in the Laramie, you lose the ventilation. But again, you get everything else with it. Now, I'm about six feet, two inches, so you guys get an idea of how much room there is in this truck with regards to leg room and head clearance with the hat on all right now we're pretty much done with the laramie let's go ahead and show you my favorite part of this video is the limited longhorn interior all right now in the phenomenal limited longhorn edition interior just oh gosh i'm like salivating a kid in the candy store with this interior starting with the door panel the main difference is that you're going to see everybody from the laramie one to the longhorn limited remember i told you same design yet just different color schemes and dressing on the door with the gold handles the wooden inlays that leather wrap in that kind of brick old time brick laid look that extra tweeter there or speaker all right that is pretty much the door panel difference Coming over to the dashboard, you get the stitching, the wooden inlays, the gold trim, the leather wrapped oh snap handles, heads up display in the limited Longhorn, all right? And then moving forward to the steering wheel, you get that wood there on the bottom, as well as the gold trim and the brown stitching around that steering wheel. Now, remember I talked to you about that 
uh, full digital cockpit cluster screen. Let's go ahead and show you guys that what it looks like. Now you can change the design. We're not gonna do that in this video, but Longhorn up top there, as well as just a full digital screen with the chrome trim, kind of the Cowboy Southwest feel trim, all right? Moving forward, Harman Kardon premium sound system. All right, 19 speakers with, again, get a load of that wrap on that dashboard with the brown stitching up top. The live feed rear camera, if you can see that in the video, dropping down to those two buttons I was talking about, that parking on button and that lane departure assist button. And if we come down to the 12 inch screen, let's go ahead and do vehicle cameras. And you got the surround camera and get a load of the surround camera. You get multiple views in the back, also in the front that you do not get in the Laramie One, okay? Again, very nice feature to have when you're towing and things of that sort. Now dropping down, what is our main difference? Here's the wireless charging pad, right? Remember I talked to you guys about the USB-C and USB-A, you just add a little cubby or a little shelf there for some chapstick or whatnot, all right? But you still get that 115 volt inverter with some cubby room. This tray here or this shelf, remember I told you guys about the wooden covers? with the gold trim, just phenomenal look. Cup holders, that's what they look like, okay? And then the Ram Longhorn key fob has the gold and the Ram Longhorn, all right? So you're getting exclusivity here with your price tag. And then the little uh, cloth wrapped um, cubby room there with your change uh, shelf on this side or the rear side. Limited Longhorn, armrest, different wrapped, but same exact thing with the center console, okay? Now the seats themselves, remember, heated and ventilated, but get a load of what this color brings to you in that saddleback feel, kind of ranch style feel. Seating, this has limited Longhorn edition stitched on that patch. In front of that passenger seat, wooden inlays with the gold, limited Longhorn edition, giving you that kind of American Southwest feel inside this truck, lockable glove compartment as well. Just a phenomenal look all around. Now, to finish off with the front, you got the limited Longhorn mats in the front. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. And then the door sill plates in the Ram that the Laramie one just has a plastic door sill plate. Now we're pretty much done with the front side. Let's hurry and shoot over to the second row seating and finish off with this video. All right, so second row seating and we're close to finishing with the video, but get a load of what it looks like back here with the limited Longhorn Edition seats. Now, remember I talked to you guys about the more grand armrest and the kind of center console feel. You got the cup holders, just a bigger armrest there, wrapped, just phenomenal look there. Also, one thing that's cool about these benches that I didn't mention in the Laramie One, you do not have the option of inclining the back benches. And everybody, this is the way you're going to do it. Handle here, slide forward, and lean back. This is phenomenal because a lot of times in these Ram trucks, they are kind of just upright for that longer road trip. It can get a little bit uh, uh, uncomfortable back here, okay? Another big difference, huge difference, is the saddles on the back of those front seats, giving you that kind of cowboy feel. All right, and then again, in between the, the front seats, you get the ventilated seats there, all right? Extra buttons there, and then the wooden inlay trims around those cup holders, okay? Popping this seat up, you're getting these kind of centers, or this is what the Laramie One had to come with. They're, I don't know why they were missing, but they're supposed to be there. This is for, you know, separation of tools, maybe your tire stuff going on. And then that limited Longhorn floor mat. Remember I told you guys about that. This kind of has uh, the rubber and the carpet, but you can pop this carpet off if you guys wanted to here, okay? It's literally just a button, just like that. And you can make it all rubber if you don't want to dirty your mats. There you go. Now guys, as promised, Here's the MSRP sticker, first to the Laramie One, so you guys get an idea of what comes on. Check it out, uh, compare both of them, because there's a lot more that we didn't do with regards to what meets the eye and what doesn't meet the eye with regards to the tech and things of that sort. And then here's the MSRP sticker to the Limited Longhorn, and both of them, the price tags, let us know what you guys think with regards to the price tags in the comment section below. 
Personally, if you ask me, I choose the limited Longhorn because it's just more of a better looking truck, okay? Now guys, thank you so much for watching Vagabond Builds with James and Sandu. Keep watching our videos, check out our other review videos. Thank you and God bless you.